Hi, my name is Michelle, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I took an old and outdated dresser from a thrift store and basically gave it a beautiful coat of paint and sold it for a profit. first step was to give the bottom of this dresser a really good vacuum while it was still on its side in the car. So the first thing I'm doing here is just taking off the hardware from all the drawers and I think I'm going to reuse it. I think it's kind of cool. This is the hardware here. I'll give it a bit of a clean to see how it comes out, but I think I might put a little bit of uh, gold, either spray paint or rub on gold on it. And I'm keeping all my hardware in a bucket for the screws and the hardware so I don't, so I don't lose it. take the drawers out and give everything a really good clean. Now what I like to do is label my drawers when I take them out so I know exactly which drawer slot to put them back into because sometimes especially with older pieces you don't always have the exact match in every hole. So this one is a left hand side drawer so for me I do a little L for the left and it's the bottom drawer. So I'm just going to do LB for left bottom. And some people, they might number them one, two, three, whatever works for you. But I just do that so I know exactly where it goes back in. So now it's time to go in and clean it. Today I'm going to go in first with the crud cutter and wipe it all over with the crud cutter and basically you can use any cleaning product that has a degreaser in it. So we want to make sure we get all the grime and dirt off it, A, just to make it clean, but also we don't want the paint adhering to the grime instead of to the actual dresser surface. Um, after I've gone in with the crud cutter and wiped them all down, then I'll go in with just clean warm water and I'll take all of any residue from the crud cutter off. Okay, let's go. to go back in with my clean water and a clean rag. Just wipe off any of that residue that we might have. And look, already you can see how dirty that rag is. So you really want to make sure you do the two steps get a lot more off. Now for the fun bit, in the drawers. Dresser 
on the top and the sides and things. So I'm just going to give that, fill it up. So that it'll be a nice smooth surface when we go to paint. to go in with my orbital sander and I've got 220 grit sandpaper so a pretty fine grit sandpaper. I'm going to sand down those wood filler bits but I'm also going to scuff sand all over the dresser just to give the paint a little bit of something to stick to um, and because it does have a veneer on the top I just want to get a little bit of, I'm going to scuff that up so it's a little bit easier for the paint to stick, not quite as shiny. Interrupted by the rain the other day, um, we had to take everything inside. New day though, beautiful outside today, and I've got everything set up so I can finish sanding down the wood filler that I used, and also finish sanding down the surface. Just a scuff sand on the dresser. And when I was rained out the other day, I had noticed that I hadn't put quite enough wood filler on some of the corners of the drawers. So I went back in and did that, it's all dry now, ready to be sanded off. everything down it's time to give them a really good wipe down with a clean microfiber cloth to get all of that dust off to make sure that the paint has a clean surface to adhere to and it's not adhering to that dust So we've wiped off the, all the dust on the dresser and now we're ready to start painting. And we're going to be using the Dixie Belle Silk Paint in Deep Sea. So I'm super excited about that because I've never used Dixie Belle paint before but I've seen a lot of furniture flippers on YouTube use it. And the silk paint 
is a primer and top coat all in one. Um, they do recommend giving a stuff sand first, which I've done. If you're enjoying this video please consider liking the video down below and if you enjoy DIY projects and these kind of furniture makeovers and flips please consider subscribing to my channel. Just with my hand sander and some 320 grit sandpaper, so that's super fine. I'm not trying to sand it down, I'm just trying to get um, sand out a little bit of the brush mark so that it's super smooth and just in case anything is kind of dried on it because we're outside, sometimes you get little bits of um, dust or pollen that will dry on it. So I'm just going to attach this. give it a really fine sand. Now that we've sanded this all down, of course, it's time to go in with a clean microfiber cloth and just rub off any of those little bits of dust so we've got a nice clean surface again for the next coat of paint to go on. All right, time to go in for my second coat. I've got my paintbrush in this plastic bag. So a little tip in between coats of the same color, you can put your paintbrush in a plastic bag, um, put an elastic band around it to keep the air out, and then you can pop it in the fridge and it keeps your brush wet in between coats, which means you don't have to wash it out. And I don't really like washing out brushes, so I love this tip. <laughs> So I've washed my hardware. What I did was I left it soaking overnight in a solution of one part vinegar to one part water. Not for any real reason, mainly because I didn't have enough vinegar to completely cover the hardware. Um, so I added some water in there. And then I gave them a little bit of a rinse off, then popped them in some water with, with some dishwashing detergent. And then I just rinsed that off and let them dry. Um, they didn't kind of come out, um, I guess, as gold or as shiny as I was hoping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some aged brass metallic wax on them. Um, never used this before, but I have seen a couple of furniture flippers on YouTube use it and it looks like it comes out really cool so I'm gonna give it a go I believe I just paint it on with a um, paintbrush so I am just gonna see how I go Ooh, that's pretty nice. It's a bit hard to see on the 
camera, but it's very clear in person. The one underneath I've painted and the one on top I haven't. It makes it shine a little bit more. I've got my aged brass painted hardware here, and I am just going to attach that to the drawers and put each drawer back in. Driver doesn't and the drill doesn't work great for getting those screws back in. So a manual screwdriver really helps. back of the drawers I wrote exactly where they went in um, so that I would know where to put them back in at the end and this one is LM so I know it goes on the left hand side in the middle drawer so let's put the first one back in bottom drawer briefly because when I close it it's rubbing on the middle drawer and the middle drawer is sitting a little smidgy lower I have to say but if I just very finely sand underneath it'll give this one enough room to easily close so we'll just this dresser on Facebook marketplace for $350 and literally within a couple of days I had a couple that were interested in it and we agreed to a $300 price so for me this was one of the first dresses I ever redid and sold so I was ecstatic and they really liked it which was fantastic and so overall I paid $38 for this dresser and then I had a materials cost. So the paint that went into this, a little bit of the wood filler and a little bit of the metallic wax. I'll also use those things for other projects as well. But overall, I had about $40 worth of material costs. So if we round that up to $80 all in, I made a really nice $220 profit on this dresser, which I was really excited about. 